Yuck. Hey there, adventurers. If you ever end up going to your fridge only to find it looking nothing but a cesspool, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you why the Waco CFX 75 dual zone fridge freezer may just be the best and easiest fridge to clean out. Hi, I'm Nathan, and here on Every Road Adventures, we're all about helping you discover and create your own adventure. Now let's get into it. I hate it, and I'm sure you do as well, when you pull up for some lunch, or at the end of a day's exploring, you pull back up at camp, open the fridge, only to find that one of your cans has sprung a leak, the lid on the milk wasn't screwed on properly and it's gone everywhere inside, leaving a massive mess or something else inside has gone wrong. It is, it's horrible, it's disgusting and it's not a nice feeling. When this happens, normally means that you have to finish emptying out the rest of the fridge's contents. But not only that, you have to unplug it and remove it from the vehicle, tip it on its side and wash it all out, hose it out and clean it right out. And then go to plug it back in, hoping that your trusty old fridge has done no damage to the compressor and will keep your beer nice and icy cold. Well, the Waco CFX 75 dual zone fridge freezer has a nifty design feature that will help you minimize the damage to your fridge and make cleaning much easier. Let's have a look. So in both compartments of this fridge, there is a drain bung based at the bottom that will assist you in draining the contents of the fridge. So these drain bungs, all they are is sealed with a couple of O-rings. And so far with all the use and abuse I've put it through over the past couple of years, I haven't had any dramas with that not sealing. So if you have excess liquid from a mess or you've just washed it out and you've got water in there, all you need to do to drain it is simply pull the drain bung out and it can escape through the drain hole at the bottom. No need to tip the fridge on its side risking damage to the compressor. Hey, and before we go any further, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that we can help you discover and create your own adventure. Right, so depending on your setup, you still may need to remove the fridge from the vehicle and the travel cover because the last thing you want is for the disgusting contents that you've got made a mess inside to drain and fill up the carpet in the back of the vehicle or drain out and sit in the bottom of your travel cover. Then once you've got your fridge out, all you need to do is clean out all the mess from inside. I'll leave a link below with some of the cleaners and products that I've used to clean out the fridge. Once you've done all your cleaning and got rid of that cesspool, all you need to do is make sure you do put your drain bung back in. And then you can go and put it back in the car. What kind of mess have you come across inside of your fridge? I'm sure there is plenty of horror stories out there. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. The drain bungs designed into the Waco CFX 75 dual zone fridge freezer make this, in my opinion, one of the easiest and best fridges that I've ever had to clean. I'm going to go and finish putting this fridge back in my ute and I'll see you in the next video. Hey? That is yucky.